Um, okay, hi. So before I start my little talk with you guys today, I want to ask you a little question. How many times do you smile every day? Once? Twice? Twice, everyone? More? More than twice? Oh, yeah. We smile every day. We smile when our dog licks us in the face. We smile when we receive a surprise birthday present. Sometimes a smile could be even as simple as hearing the rain tapping clickety-clack on your doorstep or maybe completing a new Xbox challenge. Every, a lot of sorts of emotions could generate a smile. But what is a smile? Why should we smile more? And how do we smile? Today, I'm going to answer these questions. So the science behind a smile. First of all, I'd like to talk about its definition. Anyone of you know what a smile is? What a definition of a smile is? A smile is the peak of emotions. It is the highest emotional content. It is like the extreme sensation of joy and of happiness. Well, I guess I'm extreme all the time then. Well, I mean, yeah, I smile a lot. And well, this peak of emotion, but now that we've known that the definition of a smile, what does our brain do when we smile? First of all, let's take an example. For example, you've met a friend on the street and you haven't met for such a long time, and you're like, hey, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I, it's such a long time since I've met you. I miss you so much. And that time, the neuronal signals are going to travel to the uh, sensory cortex of your brain. From there, it's going to be carried down to your brainstem, which is the oldest part of your brain. From there, the cranial muscle is going to carry these neuronal signals even further down towards your smiling muscle, generating a smile. Sounds simple enough, right? Well, as simple as it may sound, a smile is a very instantaneous process. After the contraction of our mouth muscle, it's going to send a feedback loop back to our brain, signaling that we are feeling good, enhancing our sensation of joy. According to some recent researches, a smile, except, I mean, especially the smile of a baby, could be as worthy as 2,000 pounds of chocolate or $16,000. That's a lot of money in, in, in chocolate, right? <laughs> so any one of you here is the chocolate lover? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I myself, I'm a huge chocolate lover too. Well, now we know what to do when we don't have a huge bar of Hershey or Reese in our pocket. So, some of you here may be thinking, oh, this guy is so boring. Why is he lecturing us about science? I want to go back home and play game, play Minecraft. Well, the ultimate reason of why I'm here today is not to lecture you about science or about anything, but is to tell you a little story to ultimately convince you to smile more every day. So this story, once upon a time, there was a little boy in a little place who loves, loves to come to, uh, dreams of coming to a place called America. To him, that land is the dream land. It is the land of the free, where all dreams come true, where unicorn flies in the sky. <laughs> well, I mean, that is not true, but anyway. So only a few months earlier, his dream turned into a reality when with the help of his friends, of his families, he had been able to step foot on American ground. That day, he was the happiest man that he's ever been. However, that didn't last long, because only a few days later, he was overwhelmed with a sensation of extreme sadness and desperation. He just wanted to go home with his parents. He just wanted to quit everything. Everywhere he looked was the sight of his families, of his friends. It was on a Saturday morning that he was sitting, uh, it was a 13-year-old boy sitting next to the window, gazing out to the direction of home, thinking of what he would be doing when he was at home, tears on his face, when he suddenly spot a little thriving tree sprout. It was as small as his fingertip, like this, this small. And, but however, it thrived and it grew even way better than all the trees around it. It had kind of a life to it. At that exact moment, the boy felt like smiling, and he smiled. And that smile made me, uh, made he know the definition of the word happy again. And without that smile, 
without that familiar sensation of seeing this thriving tree sprout and, and, and remembering of home, he would never be able to stand on this amazing stage with this mesmerizing crowd of people talking about the science of smiles. You don't know what little things could do to you. Well, I am that little boy. So coming here today, I only have one challenge to propose to you, to smile at least five times genuinely every day. Give the janitor a smile when you walk past her at school. Give the teacher a smile when you see him, her, or him. Give the new friend at school a little smile. Give your parents a huge hug and a big smile when you come home from school. They deserve it. To quote a movie that, I, that is my absolute favorite that has also been presented here, The Book of Life. You can write the story of yourself. So why not start writing that story by a smile? Thank you so much for listening and happy Halloween.